Hello everyone. In order to have animations to the character in Griplicon, there are a few ways to do it. One is going to the avatar workspace. Mostly you will be at this window. If you go to the details panel, on the right, you will see animations. Let's remove the previous tags. Let's grab this just by selecting it. You will see the animation is applied. You can control what part of the body you want the animation to affect. For example, now it's only affecting the lower body. Uh, you can add a new layer and move it, for example, on top and say, I want to only affect the upper body. Select the layer and select any other animation. For example, just this one. Okay, maybe it's not the best combination, but you get the idea. Okay, uh, you can basically have as many layers as you want uh, selecting the body part that you want to affect and then you can control the wave of the animation, basically the intensity, you can call it that way. Okay, another way to do animations is going to the animation workspace and you have to add the character to to the timeline, click him here. And if you have the character selected, it will appear. And now you have the tracks for the character. This one with the guy running is the animation track. And you can basically select an animation and you can preview them by holding them over them. And you can drag and drop into the animation track. I'm now the animation is linked to the timeline and the header. Uh, so when you are not moving in the timeline, it will freeze. You can do basically the same thing as with layers. You can select body parts to affect. You can add, well, sorry, yeah, new animation tracks. I'm um, again playing between them. Another thing you can do, for example, let's search walking set. Okay, there are so many items that do not displace the character and you will have to manually add keyframes to the location. Are not gonna showcase that for the moment. So we're gonna add this one that actually display the character, but the animation is very short. The way to increase the length of the animation is using these tools over here. This one allows you to extend and look the section. So basically select the edge and extend as much as you want. And you will see that it's looping every time the animation finishes. And now you have an infinite animation, but every time you start a new look, it will go back to the beginning. If you right click on the animation, make okay, edit keep offset from loops. Now the animation is not uh, going back to the beginning. So you have an infinite walking animation. And one last thing that I want to showcase in this video is basically, let's grab this one here. And then for example, a jump animation. If I place them side by side, it will jump between one animation and the other without any blend. One thing you can do is overlap both animations and it will blend between them. So basically you go from here all the way to the jump animation and it's very seamless. So you can choose the amount of blending, etc. So. Those are the two ways to add animations for now. I hope you find this video useful and we will keep doing more videos about the different topics of Replicant.